And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to start with a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Audition and how to create a really awesome and epic sounding radio voice. This is great if you're creating a radio jingle, a DJ drop, or anything of the similar sort where you want to announce your radio station or you want to announce a song or... You know, you know when you listen to the radio, you have these voiceovers that, that are like really kind of deep and like really echoey where they're like, welcome to Radio 101.3 and they have like these, you know, it just sounds really awesome. We're going to show you how to do that today and this is what we're going to create. I'm going to show you the finished product. Here's the finished product. Thanks for listening to Radio 101.3. Sounds pretty awesome. Now, you can convert to this from a simple plain recording like this. Thanks for listening to Radio 101.3. Pretty some some pretty amazing and drastic changes happening there. So, how do you actually create this effect? Well, first of all, it's always good to do with any recording is always to make sure that your audio levels here, your wave here, your audio levels in this wave are not going past the borders here. In fact, if you listen to your audio, thanks for listening to Radio 101.3, and you look at the bottom here, you saw that none of my audio went past the red, which is good. Your bass recording should be in the yellow or green. It shouldn't go to the red. Otherwise, it's going to sound pretty bad because there's a lot of distortion then. The other thing I would do always in every recording also is highlight before the track or after the track, head up to effects, head to noise reduction. We're going to go ahead and capture this noise, this noise point. You can go ahead and press OK on this. Then we're going to highlight everything. Go back up to effects, go to noise reduction and go to the process. And then you can move these settings around if you'd like. Press apply and you'll notice we don't have any more static now. Thanks for listening to Ray, which is great. Now, I do have a whole tutorial on how the noise reduction process works. If you want to take a look at that, I'll leave a card on screen right now, and you can take a look at that. It's very helpful. It's, pre it's pretty much an essential thing that you do in every recording. Now, next thing we're going to do is head up to Favorites here and click Start Recording Favorite. Now, if you have Adobe Audition CS 5.5 or later, you're able to record the effects you add to a track. That way you don't need to continuously, for every voiceover you do, continuously add the same effects over and over. You can just add the effects with a, with a simple hotkey, with a simple few clicks. So we're gonna start recording our favorite right now. Go press OK on this. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, highlight our entire track. We're gonna head up to effects. We're gonna go down to filters and EQ. And then we're going to head over to Parametric Equalizer. Now in here, there are several presets, but the only one I'm interested in is Loudness Maximizer. This, this gives your voice a bit more treble, a bit more bass, and it makes it sound really good. So just select the preset from here, Loudness Maximizer, hit Apply, and that will already apply the effect. Next, we're going to head up to Effect once again, go to Amplitude and Compression, and then go to normalize the process. Now here, I would recommend putting anything between 95.8 to 99.8. Anything from the mid 90s to the high 90s is really good. So I'm selecting 95.8, but you can you know, play around with these values up to 99.8 and see which ones you like. Go ahead and press apply and that effect will be applied as well. Then we're gonna go up to effects again, go to amplitude and compression, and this time we're gonna go to dynamic processing, which is right here. Next. I have a custom uh, setup right here. This is a custom uh, dynamic processing effect. Now, what you wanna do is create this as a preset. So right now I don't have it set as a preset, but these are the values basically. If you can get them close to this ratio and if you can get them close to this threshold, that's good. The way you get these settings is just by moving this dot right here. Don't move the top dot, move the uh, dot that's right here. When you open this effect up initially, you'll get a dot here and you'll get a dot right here. All you gotta do is move this dot up a little bit and match the ratios here. And as long as you have them somewhat close to this, you should be fine. After that, we're gonna go ahead and press the uh, save as a preset option. And we're gonna go ahead and type in radio voice. And that's gonna be our preset. I wanna go ahead and press apply. And as you can see, our waveforms are getting really loud now. So we're gonna go ahead and lower that by once again, going up to effects, going to amplitude and compression, and once again, normalizing it, and use the exact same value that you had last time. For me, it was 95.8. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna drag this track into a multi-session track. So we're gonna go ahead and right-click our workspace area here, select new, select multi-track session, 
and we can name this uh, anything really. It's just a random name. Press OK. Then we're going to go and drag our not done WAV file into our multi track session here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I like to view my track large enough. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the effects rack here. And in the effects rack, make sure you have your uh, this track highlighted with your not done uh, WAV file, whatever track you have there. And in the effects rack here, click the right arrow here. And we're going to go ahead and add the exact same dynamic processing that we added before. So once again, amplitude and compression, dynamic processing, and you should have your preset now here, radio voice. Go ahead and uh, once you selected that, it's automatically added to the effects track here, and it's automatically applied to your track. Then we're going to go to the next effect here, click the right arrow, go to filters and EQ, and we're going to select the graphic equalizer, the 20 band one. And in this effect, you want to make sure you add these values to the high end. Now the low and mid values here, they can all stay at zero, but the high end values here, if you take a look at these numbers, make sure you copy these down and make sure you have your range set to 45, your accuracy set to 1000 points, and you can go ahead and save this as a preset as well. If you want to uh, save this, uh, just go ahead and pause the video and you can and you can make similar adjustments to your audition effect, or you can just take a screenshot of the video right now. And we're going to go ahead and set a preset to radio voice as well. Then we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. Now we have two effects. And the last effect we're going to add is some studio reverb. So next right arrow, go to, uh, go to reverb, then hit studio reverb. And here you want to add these values. Just once again, copy them down in your audition effect, take a screenshot or pause the video. And we're going to save this also as a preset. Hit OK. And that will now add that effect. Then what you can also do is save this effect rack here by pressing this button right here. And we can go ahead and select. And we can go ahead and type in radio voice. And now whenever you want to add these effects to your multi-track session, you can find them in radio voice. Also, now that we've finished recording our favorites in the single track editing, we can go up to favorites, we can go to stop recording, and we can go ahead and change this also. And if you were to take a listen to our new track now, thanks for listening to Radio 101.3. Sounds really really awesome. So that's how you transform your voice from a very plain recording to a really epic, awesome sounding radio announcer voice type of thing where uh, this is great for using for radio jingles, DJ drops, or uh, any type of intro that you want to have to your podcast or some type of radio station that you're creating. And if you ever want to uh, reuse your favorite now, obviously re reusing the effects in your effect rack is very easy. All you got to do, if I, if I were to press Control Z on everything here, and uh, if I were to press Control Z on everything here as well, as you can see, this is the original track again. Thanks for listening to Radio One. What we can do is highlight our track, head up to Favorites. Here's our new favorite radio voice. And then in our multi-track session, we can go ahead and drag this in. And then once again, highlight. Uh, and then once again, make sure you're on the track that you have this selected. In your effects track, we can go ahead and select Radio Voice. There it is. And automatically, every all the effects get loaded on. And if you listen, thanks for listening to Radio 101.3. So the only thing you cannot add to your favorites menu or your favorites uh, recording is the noise removal. So you do have to do that every single time. But other than that, uh, you can use favorites and you can use your saved effect rack to basically load all these effects for any type of voice recording you want to use for, for radio or for a podcast. And, well, and with a few clicks, you can get all these effects loaded up. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on this video. would really appreciate the likes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board the channel. Lots of other audio editing tutorials, lots of other audition tutorials, Audacity tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, Photoshop, GIMP, any type of software tutorial that you're looking for. We have plenty of it on the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, if you have any feedback, and if you have any tips to make this even better, go and leave your comments down below. We're all here to learn and would love to see your feedback and your comments. If you'd like to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Anything as low as a dollar is very helpful and very much appreciated. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, or the music channel, click the links in the description as well as on the end screen. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. This is GS Man. I'm smart and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere. Baby, but you know I never will. No. So I
Choke 